For today's Monday Makeup Lesson, I'm going to show you how to create this look using the Master Series Palette by Blank Canvas Cosmetics. I was recently at the beauty show and I just fell in love with this palette all over again. I created a few different makeup looks on some models and I just really wanted to create a look for you guys today as well. So let's get started. So as always, we're gonna start off with an eyeshadow primer. This is gonna give our shadows something to hold on to so it's gonna last longer. But also because we are gonna be applying glitter, I find an eyeshadow primer actually protects the lid from any irritation that you might get from using glitter. And the first shadow that we're gonna use is a ready toned light brown. So it almost has like a ready tone within this and I'm gonna blend this over and back in the crease of the eye. And then when there's not that much on my brush, I'm gonna turn it on its side and sweep over and back. And this will help to blend that shadow nicely upwards towards the brows. Particularly if you have hooded eyes, you really wanna make sure you're concentrating on this area. This will soften any hooded effect that you might have on your eyes. And I just slowly built up the shadow, applying a little bit at a time to create some framework for the rest of the shadows that we will apply. The next shade that we're going to take is this beautiful chocolate brown with a ready tone. It literally looks like a piece of chocolate. We're going to use the same brush and once again blend this over and back in the crease of the eye. Try not to bring this up too high. Don't worry if it does end up going up a little bit too high, but just make sure that this is kept lower than the previous shadow. Then we're going to take this deep dark shade with a little bit more of a purple tone this time. We're gonna blend this over and back into the crease of the eye, making sure to bring it nice and low. And I'm only using a very small amount of this just to add some depth to this look. And once you've done lots of blending, you should end up with a result like this. If it's not deep enough, start again with the cocoa and then add a little bit more hickory. Now I'm gonna take some concealer and I'm gonna take a small brush and I like to squeeze it between my fingertips so it's really flat. And then I'm gonna cut the crease. So I usually start as if I'm creating a triangle shape. And then I slowly make it a little bit wider. So you kind of end up with like a weird square shape. And then what I do is I invert this triangle. So I take a little bit of cocoa and I apply this on either side in a sweeping down motion. So we end up with a triangle, but now it's gonna be reversed. I then took a little bit of glitter glue and applied this on the area that I cut. And then I just tapped my glitter over the top and this glitter is so beautiful. I was so afraid of it falling so I had to be very careful the way I was twisting. But you just wanna tap this over the area and it will only stick where you've applied the glue. Such an amazing glitter glue. Really hands down, one of my favorites. So just press that glitter over the top and it will really only stick where you want it to. You can even take your brush and softly sweep over to remove any excess. Once I did that, I then cleaned up underneath my eyes. I applied some lashes, and now we're gonna finish off this look. So to finish it off, I'm gonna take Lily, which is the lightest pale shade in this palette, and I'm just gonna apply this underneath my brows. This will just add some definition. And then with the Goddess shade, which is the only shimmer in this palette, it's a beautiful pale champagne gold. I'm just gonna apply this on the inner corner of the eye. With the Cocoa shade, I'm gonna apply this underneath the lashes. And I'm just using a flat brush to apply that. And this palette actually comes with this brush, which is double-ended. One side is a blender, one side is a flat brush. And then picking up Hickory, which is that dark shade again. I'm using that same brush to press this right underneath those lashes. Apply lots and lots of mascara on those lower lashes. And then there you go. That is the finished look. It's just something a little bit fun and quite eye-catching. And I hope you guys enjoyed this look. If you did come to the show, I really love seeing you there. And hopefully I'll do a few more of these sort of things really soon.